Hey there, here's a short uh, video about how to find the maximum value um, in a list. So here I am in Colab, and um, you can see that I'm gonna record three videos here, max, min, and average. So this is the one where we'll look at maximum value in a list. That light, hmm. Okay, turned off my halo there. Um, so maximum value in a list, first what I'm gonna do is just make a list. So let's call it, um, uh, we can call it whatever we want. How about values? Uh, let's do prices. Prices. Sell it. Um, and if you're making an empty list in Python and you wanted to add things to it, you might do something like that and do like prices append three uh, or 30, right? And then um, and you could just keep appending values. But it, it, when you're creating a list um, from scratch or like something like I'm doing here, I'm just kind of want a list. You can create it immediately right here by adding a bunch of values to it. So let's do 10, 30, 5, 2, 7, and uh, 15. And then I could just print my list. Um, to make sure that everything's working correctly. Come on, collab. Sometimes it takes a little time to get started, fired up here, and there's and there's my list right here. Um, there's my list. So uh, now instead of, I don't want to print the prices, I want to see the maximum value. So in order to do, th to do that, uh, one classic way would be to um, start with let's make a new variable that's going to hold the maximum value and then we'll go through the we'll um we'll iterate through the list we'll check every item in the list and compare it to our maximum so far and um if the if if we encounter an item in the list that's bigger than the maximum that we've seen so far then this new item becomes the new maximum and we keep going looking for an item that's greater than the maximum um, that we've had so far. So here's how we do something like that. Start off by creating a value, uh, like a temporary variable to hold our maximum value. So let's call it max price. And we we'll start with the lowest possible value um, uh, that we can think of. If we're dealing with prices and we know none of them are gonna be negative, then um, we could just make max price get zero. And then we can say for item in prices, uh, so this is a for loop that's going to um, access each item in the list. We want to compare it to max price. So if the item is greater than um, whatever our previous max price was, uh, then this item becomes the new max price. So max price then becomes the new item. Uh, and, uh, and then we can just print the max price. Uh, max price. Can't spell price today. And let's see how this works. There we go. It found 30 as the max price. And maybe I want to prettify that print statement a little bit um, by saying something like um, highest price is, and um, using my curly braces, f strings. And just insert it right in there like that. And we can even put a dollar sign in front of it, maybe a period at the end, and run it, and we see something like that. So there's an algorithm for max price. Now I do want to show you, um, or maximum value in a list, I do want to show you another way um, that this is sometimes done. Like maybe you don't know if there might be negative values in your list. Um, uh, like this could be, um, you know, change in stock prices per day. And sometimes it goes up and so it's positive, sometimes it goes down and so it's a negative value. So think about why that wouldn't work in our current setup. We wouldn't be able to detect um, a maximum change if there could be some negative values in here because what if they're all negative? Like nothing's gonna trigger our max price change in our max price of zero. So another way that uh, people go about doing this sometimes is if you don't know, like, a lowest possible value. Instead, here, we'll just take the first value and call that our maximum. And then we go from there and uh, look for anything bigger than the first one. So I could say max price. How do I get the first value here? I can use square bracket notation. Why do I keep wanting to write price that way? Like that. So our max price is, oop, that is wrong, right? There we go. Price is, there we go, that's better. So here's our prices list. 
this is the first item in our list and we're gonna assign that to the max price. So now, instead of starting with zero, uh, we're starting with 10 as our max price and we'll go through the list and if we find it, look at each item, if we find something bigger than 10, then that becomes our new max price. And so we do immediately here, and then none of these things matter because none of them are bigger than, um, bigger than our max. And we can run that again and see that we get the same thing. If I throw on a super large number at the end, um, then um, you can see that that picks it up. So here we are finding maximum value in a list and specifically an unsorted list, right? Maybe later we'll get into sorting items in a list and then it's, you know, you could probably think of a more efficient way to do it if you were working with a sorted list. Okay, so that's it. Next videos I'll show minimum and average.